Welcome to Art Attack, the show that proves you don't need to be an expert to be a great artist. Are you ready to throw the best birthday party ever? Get ready to create works of art like this for a unique birthday party. An original piece for your birthday with colourful characters. A great creation with a surprise ending. A unique sign to welcome your guests. A very long ornament to cheer up your festivities. And the amusing words of Vincent Van Coconut, Art Attack Eco Artist. What do you need to make your birthday parties unforgettable? Balloons, music, presents, your closest friends, a delicious cake with candles to blow up, and fun outfits that can match the theme of your party and fill it with entertainment. Ah, but what about goodies like these? To share with your friends. Tasty party food, but it's also presented in wonderful outfits. Now here's how it's done. So what we're going to do now is wrap the bowls with cardboard. This way, you'll be able to make different size bowl holders. Make sure that the bowl you use has a jutting edge, like this one, so that you're able to hold it with the cardboard. You can use cardboard of any height. However, it should always be higher than the height of the bowl, so that you're able to hold it. And if you want to measure the size of the bowl to know whether or not the cardboard will be big enough to wrap around it, use a strip of paper like this and wrap it around the bowl. And once you reach the end, make a mark. There. And lay the strip of paper over the cardboard. And with this mark, you'll be able to tell whether the cardboard is big enough to wrap around the bowl. Like this one, it's just right. Now, have a look at what comes next. Choose the size of the bowl you want to use and place it upside down. Wrap it with cardboard, like this. If the edges overlap when you wrap them around, don't worry. Stick them together with tape. Use as much as you need to make sure that they are stuck together securely. In order for our bowl holders to be strong, use Art Attack paste to glue pieces of newspaper on the entire surface. Do you remember how to make Art Attack paste? Easy! Equal amounts of water and glue. Don't forget to cover the edges of the tube with paper. That way, they will be well protected. The structure is now ready. It's a strong tube that will act as the casing for the bowl. Now this simple cylinder will make your birthday spread look like no other. It's time to dress them up in colour. Begin by tracing a line with a pencil around the bowl holder to mark the edge of its pants. Now draw two circles. These will be the buttons on the pants. Looking nice. Paint the upper part with black paint. You can use a white paintbrush because it is a large enough surface. Try not to paint over the line. Take advantage of the black color to paint the inside. See how well it is turning out? Now paint the pants red. Paint it all except for the buttons. Use yellow paint to color the buttons very carefully. When the paint dries, give it some shine with a couple of small white brush strokes. Look! And for reflections, add a few orange brush strokes. To create shade, mix water and black paint and apply softly. Repeat this step around the buttons and the edge of the pants. See how good it looks? The table is set! Look at all these designs! This bowl holder has puppy ears. Does it look familiar? Hmm? Hmm? And this other one here has a classic look with white polka dots. 
that makes everything look festive. And look how good that one over there looks with the red bow tie, all dressed up for the occasion. Now all you have to do is fill them up with delicious healthy snacks for your party. It's your turn to imagine the theme you want for your birthday party and create the costumes for it. Try it out and include your friends in the fun. <laughs> it's Vincent Van Coconut here, Auditech's party planner and eco-artist. Do you remember how to make the bowl holders? Let's watch again. Wrap a bowl with cardboard, secure it with tape, and then cover it with newspaper and Auditech paste to make sure the piece is strong. When it dries, draw the details of the clothing. Paint it and add shine and shape with very soft brush strokes. Now you can fill it with very delicious birthday snacks. Before blowing out the candle on my coconut cake, I am going to make three wishes. That all discarded cardboard be recycled, that all plastic containers be reused, and that water not be wasted. It will be a great birthday! You don't guess what he is? It's Buddy Hat! And it does Hey Hat! That's a great thought! The other day, Alex went to a birthday party and he suddenly realized that he forgot to take something very important with him. First he got a bit worried, but then he had the idea to make one of his enormous designs. Guess what he did? And where he put the little gloves. Where did this stuffed duckling come from? 
Alex sure has lots of surprises under his sleeve. Or in this case, in his box. A party scene with lots of presents to be opened. Were you able to guess in what part of the design he used the little gloves? Let's see! There he is with the gloves. He's putting them down over there, and they make up the girl's hair clips. Alex is so clever! I know! <laughs> it's a candle game! Your birthday has finally arrived and you want to welcome your guests to the party in a special way. You could make sure that the first thing they see when they arrive is a unique welcome sign. That's why you won't make it with the usual materials. No crayons, paints and markers, you call yourself. And suddenly, you find a roll of colored tape. And you think, yes, this could work. And you're right. You can make amazing things with colorful tape like these. Check it out. Over a piece of black cardboard, make a drawing using a white pencil. Since it is a birthday design, we could draw the face of a clown. Draw the eyes, the eyebrows, and a great big nose. Draw a smaller circle for the mouth. Draw some funny looking hair on his head. And finally, draw a great big clown bow tie here. Perfect! Shape the contours with a white crayon like this. Now we can really start working with the tape. Yikes! First cut one piece, fold it, and stick it together, leaving part of the sticky side exposed. Roll it up like this and stick it on the hair. Stick the curls next to each other. And it will be easier if you start on the outside and work your way in. Make the bow tie with thick green tape. Again, Fold the tape and stick it together, leaving a part of the sticky side exposed. This time, make a big curl. Stick it on here, in the center of the bow tie. Looks like For the rest of the bow tie, place smaller curls all over its surface, one next to the other. Wow, what a fancy bow tie! <laughs> this clown has so many curls. <laughs> But this is not the only way you can work with tape. There are many other ways you can use colorful tape. Take a look. With this tape, we'll make the eyes. First take on one end. Then make a fold, press it softly with your fingers, and then repeat the folds until you complete the circle. Great! Now use blue tape for the eyebrows. Carefully stick it on while bending it in this way. Then cut off the excess. Now use red tape for the nose. Cut a piece and stick it onto the drawing making up your own folds. Use as much tape as you need to give the nose form. You will have a funny texture. Finally, grab some white tape and twist it like this to make a string. Stick one end onto the cardboard and make a spiral until you complete the circle of the mouth. Cut off the excess when you are done. A fun and original design to hang on your door and welcome your friends. You can also make a girl clown. Like this one! Oh. Most of her is done with the curl technique. But look, her eyes are made flat by cutting out circles of tape. And for this other one, the eyes are star-shaped. Now this clown has a different makeup on. Now it's your turn to make up new ways of using tape and design a fun sign for your next birthday. For my birthday, I made a welcome sign completely out of tape. I began with the leaves, but when I got to the trunk, I was already tired. Can you tell? I will have to gather my strength again to finish my piece. Onward and upward, Van Coconut! 
Something very important to think about when it comes to planning your birthday party. And that is the decoration. I have decided to celebrate such a special day with this Art Attack Monkey Garland. Look at them closely. They are masters of movement, agile and playful. That is why they can link up together by their arms, their tails and their legs to make up a whole string of them. Would you like to decorate your birthday party with specially made garlands? Mm -hmm. Well, here's how. Over a thin piece of cardboard, draw a monkey. Begin with his mouth. He should be smiling, happy to celebrate your birthday. This will be his mouth. And this, his head. Draw cute ears on each side. You must make his arms long and curved so that you can attach the monkeys together to create your garland. Draw a long and curled tail. And finally, the legs. Now cut it out carefully and it will look like this. You have to repeat the same drawing on the other side because once it becomes a garland, the monkey will be seen from both sides. See how it looks? You can make as many monkeys as you want, depending on how long you want your garland to be. Here I've got four. And look, I can already hang them together. As long as the arms and legs are well curved, you won't have any problems. And they will hold on to one another. But first, choose your favorite paints and crayons and fill them with color. What do you think about painting each monkey a different color? This one will be yellow. It will look really attractive in this cheerful color. When the paint has dried, paint the other side. Now, use a lighter color for his face and hands. Paint his mouth white. When it has dried, Highlight the monkey's details with a black marker. And finally, give it some shine with the crayons. Go bananas with it! <laughs> and each monkey is painted a different color, the garland looks really festive and very cheerful. There you go! Now that you know how to make garlands, you can imagine different characters. Look at these dancing friends. They are happily jumping around. And if you throw a crazy theme for your birthday, try some multicolored monsters. Ah! Look, this one is holding on to the horn with its tongue. Ah! Now it's your turn to imagine fantastic characters and become the designer of your own birthday celebration. Try it yourself and share the fun with your friends. friends. And, and we'll see you again next week with no words of art to create right here an art attack. Bye!